Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Noel, and I bring to you your favorite show, Check In with Noel, courtesy of Sound for Life TV. Uh, today, we bring you a show, the 16th annual Film Made Film Festival screening schedule that is brought to you by Film Made Kenya in Kakuma Refugee Camp. And uh, this is done in, in conjunction with the government of Kenya. The government of Turkana County, UNHCR, the government of Dutch, and also uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark. We also have uh, other partners like uh, GIZ included in this uh, in this occasion that are bringing up this occasion to you today. We also have uh, HFPA, World Food Program, and Kenya Film Commission. Uh, uh, Checking with Noel is bringing you this show. Uh, the, the gala night of the Film Made Film Festival here in Kakuma, in, in Cradle, uh, you know, the, the favorite chilling spot now, the newest in Kakuma. Uh, today, tonight uh, we'll have uh, so, so many uh, occasions happening in this event. We will have uh, film screenings that are done by Film Made students and we will also have uh, film screenings from international and we also have uh, cultural dance and uh, the theme of tonight is the African wear. It is the African culture that's being embraced. Uh, check in with Noel. We bring you this show and to, show, to, to also show you some of the most important things that are happening in Kakuma, including youth who have undergone a film made trainings and who have achieved a lot of skills in this kind of training. Stay tuned and check in with me. Right, I'm now joined by uh, Peter Gitau. Uh, uh, he's, he's, he's a film uh, director and uh, uh, multimedia producer uh, at Film Aid Kenya. Uh, Mr. Gitau, uh, can you please tell us uh, what are the importance of these occasions like film festival in Kakuma Refugee Camp to the students and uh, to, to emerging filmmakers and also to the entire youth uh, community in Kakuma? Well, uh, uh, you know, across the world, having a festival a festival is a celebration. It's a celebration of uh, hard work and uh, storytelling. So in Kakuma, people know Kakuma as uh, a refugee camp. And they always have this perception of, uh, you know, it's a depressed place, people are going through a lot of uh, hardship. But what they don't know is that these people came from places where there was art, there was culture, and there was uh, life. And uh, so the importance of this festival is to give, to amplify those voices so that they are able to tell their stories from their own perspective, not, not, not from a, uh, an outside perspective. And, uh, and why we began, the, why this festival is important is uh, we are able to give these uh, filmmakers a platform where their stories can be told raw, you know? And uh, I feel like it's also a good platform for people to see work. And uh, in the camp, there are so many organizations. It's also a, a good place to network. Uh, I heard one of the uh, one of the ladies uh, director talking about uh, there are 11 students, and there are many organizations here. They need to get work. So also, this platform helps uh, networking and uh, building uh, their brands. Uh, what way would would be so easy for? The filmmakers, other than a festival, to showcase their work. So that's why we, uh, I'm, 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 I'm proud of uh, having this festival here. All right, these are 12 uh, and on on, your, on the 16th annual uh, year. Uh, you are, we are now celebrating 12 uh, other students, adding to 320 others and under your and under your organization. How does it make you feel, and what do you think is the future of, of Kakuma Youth or even the, uh, its environment? I think it's a, it's a good thing, it's, a, it's like a school. Mm -hmm. A school uh, always has, uh, every year, people graduating or going to the society. And also a society has, has people who are being born, others are dying, and uh, that's a cycle of life. So for, for, for here having um, 12 more students from the past uh, uh, students is an addition to the society. And uh, it, it also keeps the balance, also uh, encourages people to also continue. Because uh, when you look at the 300 trained students, majority of those, or a percentage of those, are well-known people. 
<laughs> yeah, they are doing very well in Germany, some are doing very well in Canada, <laughs> and they inspire, they inspire millions. And uh, even if it's only one person uh, that is doing very well, he is enough or she is enough to encourage the rest of the people uh, in, the, in, in the camp or the people who have been through the training to ignite something in them and show them that they are world class. It's not just a, a refugee filmmaker but a, a filmmaker uh, across the world. So I feel like the additional 12 students will inspire in a, in a different way. Uh, I see like a case study of uh, Mr. Steve Kizer. Steve, Steve Kizer did not meet any qualifications to be part of uh, Filmade, but uh, because of his talent and passion, look where he is. He's now employed, he's now starting his business, he's recognized, and uh, everything is working for him. Yeah. Allow me to All right. Thank you so much. Uh, that was uh, Mr. Peter Gitao, he's the multimedia producer and he's the one in charge of whatever that you've seen happening here today. Uh, please stay in touch and let's see more interviews from the students and also some uh, filmmakers who've, who've gone through the same, same training before. How do you feel about today, Gabriela? Tell me the whole feeling. You are graduating today and you are, we have seen some of the projects that you and your fellow students have worked on. And how does it feel like you're joining other filmmakers outside there as, as a new entrance into this industry? Oh, well, this is my initiation into the film industry. I guess anyway, so. <laughs> I am feeling so, so good because okay. it's been a while. It's been a long journey. And uh, I was kind of insecure before, feeling like, ah, can I really make it here? But from the support I'm getting from uh, everyone, like uh, the male counterparts are very supportive of me. So many people are very supportive of me. They're like, ah, Gabriel, you can do this, you can do this. And it's a good feeling today. I'm graduating. It's the final year of being a student. At least now I'm officially a filmmaker. I'm no longer a filmmaker student. You know, that student tag was there, but currently I'm now. <laughs> Yeah. You, 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 you mentioned male counterpart. Yeah. It, it brings a question of, you know, you already know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> is it, is it, it, should it be the last time I'm hearing from you, someone talking about women can do anything a man can do right now? And why? <laughs> well, absolutely, because, uh, like, you know, people feel like film is for male. Mm -hmm. A man is the one supposed to carry a camera, a man is supposed to do videography, editor should be a man, women should just do directing, maybe a script writing. But I want to break that barrier, because right now I'm pursuing, like, photography and videography, and uh, <laughs> that's me. So th my new obsession right now is photography and videography. I'm, I'm going to be the best at it. You'll hear it. <laughs> well, Gabriela, to finish with you, uh, there is power in motivating mm -hmm. and I want you to look at that camera and tell a young woman outside there something about being a woman and being some someone who's outstanding in the community okay to young ladies out there you're your own boss don't let anyone shut your dream down go chase your dream because you only like people have your back but the best person to have your back who will never leave you is yourself so establish yourself as a woman as a young lady and just do you whatever you're passionate about go chase it don't care what people say, just follow your dream. Yeah, that's for me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gabrielle. It's really been a pleasure having you here with us. And I really, really wish you the best in your filmmaking journey. Thank you very much also for having me and giving me the spotlight. Thank Congratulations you. once more. OK, thank All you. Right. Uh, Lake, if you're a student, Pain Lake, make your way forward. Kawa eni mwanafunzi, tapodani, tapodani, tapodani. If you're a student, Pain Lake, join them, wanafunzi wote. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see behind me, this is almost to the end of this event today. And uh, courtesy of Sound for Life TV, uh, check in with Noel. He's really, really happy to have brought you this kind of activity to you today so that you can see uh, Sound for Life TV and uh, check in with Noel celebrating the 12 uh, graduates of the students uh, who are uh, refugees and also some host, uh, host community members uh, coming into this industry. 
can also support these activities uh, in, 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 in terms of communication and also trying to sharpen their skills to make a living. Uh, right behind me, this is not the right, the last time this kind of, uh, I mean, the, the, the last gala of this film festival 2023, but uh, Film Aid and their partners are going to organize another one which is going to happen in Nairobi. I've not confirmed the dates, but just make sure, just, just, just make sure you keep in touch with us in, in, in the comment box so that we can also share with you this kind of information. Please don't forget to like and uh, to subscribe to our channel for more and more. It's been Noel Ball and this is Check-In, courtesy of Sound for Life TV. Ciao.